Hello everyone, I'm Michael. Today let's look at the S5. The S5 is Samsung's latest MP3 player. It is the newer model of the K5. Like the K5, it has built-in speakers, but it also has more powerful functions like Bluetooth technology and video playback. Now, shall we look at the new S5? As you can see, Samsung's new earphone, the EP150, is in the lower section. This new earphone has reinforced bass sound. The subsequent model of EP100, which was sensational because of its excellent performance compared to price. It has a smaller size and a more balanced bass and high sound. If I open the middle lid, there is a 24 pin data cable a quick start guide, registration card, free download coupon, warranty, and an installation CD for Samsung Media Studio, which is a player exclusive to Samsung. And then there is a unique cable on the back of the case. I will explain it later. This is a cable that can import sound from external music devices to hear the sound through the speakers of the S5. Shall we look in today's hero then, the S5? Well, f the first, the feeling is lighter and smaller. This is the K5 and this is the S5. Like this, I'm sure you agree, it is smaller and thinner than the K5, especially the weight is lighter, 85 grams, 106 grams. Wow, 21 grams less. Some said it's like a brick when they saw the size of the K5. The S5 is much smaller than the K5. Since there will be white and black models, the choice of options is diverse. In the case of white, it is clean and female users may love it. The front side is a touchpad style menu. If the power is not turned on, only the LCD is seen like this. The power and the hold button are located on the upper end and the 24 pin data connection terminal and earphone hole are located on the lower end. Since there is no other button except the power button, as a whole it gives a very clean and simple feeling. The speaker is completely the same as the K5 and it is a sliding type. If you open the speaker there is various product information the reset button and microphone are on the back. I'll turn on the S5. The S5 logo appears and then the music menu appears. Here's the S5 logo and here is the music menu. If you close the speaker menu and screen, the speaker menu and screen can turn into a vertical style. And you open the speaker, as you can see, they can turn into a horizontal style. Can you see the location of the back button on the upper side also changes? And to return to the main menu, we press. You see the tot style GUI first catches our eyes. The impressive icon is animated every time the menu is changed. The main menu is composed of nine menus. Music, videos, pictures, FM radio, data casts, prime pack, file browser, Bluetooth, settings. Let's move on to the music menu, which is the most important one. Now playing is the menu you use to the music currently being played. Artists, albums, song, genres are all used to find music by category. S5 allows users to make up to five playlists. You can add to the playlists from the music list screen. With the recorded files, 
you have the function to record sound using the microphone on the back or with the playback recorded file option while you're listening to FM radio. Music Browser allows you to find MP3 file by file and folder name instead of by finding files with tag names. Unlike players that sort out existing tags, this will be very convenient for users who are tired of sorting out tags. Let's see the music playback screen. When pushing menu button on the playback music screen, nine menus will show up. There are two kinds for sound effects. Street mode is the option to have loud sound even when the sound is small, like when you are listening to music on the street. As it says, it is for on the street. The clarity will clarify the tone. DNSE is Samsung's unique sound field. It provides a, deserve, a diverse present sound field for normal rock, vocal, and other genres. If you choose a user setting, you can set up to nine bands, EQ and 3D effects and bass separately. It gives you a very generous freedom. My favorite is Concert Hall. Concert Hall is well matched to the speaker sound tone of the S5. When you play back music, you can set up repeat or shuffle in play mode. Music play screen provides three animation effects, album info and album art. If you set up auto, animation effect is shown randomly. If you choose add to alarm, a currently being played song will be registered as an alarm song. Only one song at a time can be registered. You can set up this alarm menu in Prime Pack. Play speed supports six levels from 0.7 times to 1.3 times. Skip interval sets up how many seconds will be skipped when you push the previous or next button. By using the bookmark menu, you can bookmark certain parts of music while you're listening to the music. Connect to stereo headset is initially dimmed as you can see. If you have already registered the Bluetooth headset, it will be activated. This function is very convenient when you want to listen to music with Bluetooth while you are listening to music through the speaker. If you move to the video menu, the video list will come up first. The screen is converted to horizontal mode when playing the video. Although this is a small LCD, it shows a relatively clear and bright view. As this is changed to a horizontal view, the menu is also automatically changed to the horizontal style. I think this shows Samsung's meticulous care for the user's convenience. There is a bookmark function which can bookmark videos while playing a video and DNSE menu button. DNSE menu supports three DNSE modes which are normal, drama and action. Lastly, there is a brightness menu which can adjust brightness. This can easily adjust brightness while the video is being played. Today we looked at the appearance, packaging, music and video functions of the S5. There are many functions for an MP3 player that is designed to play music. The second review will look at functions such as Prime Pack, Bluetooth and video playback functions. Please wait for my second review. Bye.